Let's see who wins the initial joust. The initial joust, it will be Chain Reaction who gets the disc. But will be recovered by Undarb on the side of Badgers, clearing it out through their left side tunnel. Baker will intercept, pass it all the way back into the Honey Badger's bubble. We'll see who can recover. It will be Mamu on the side of Chain Reaction, going for a shot but missing across the backboard. Since he will pick it up, stun out Mamu at the same time and pass it forward onto the side of Chain Reaction. Myth going for a pass down center but not quite connecting to the teammate. Mamu picking it up, playing patient, getting a stack partner, looking to dribble it. They will get it onto their left side, passing it through tunnel, but they do get stunned out by the Honey Badgers. Dewey Blink now recovering the disc, looking to clear it out, going into the hands of Undarb at Valley. Now looking to dribble downfield onto the side of Chain Reaction, still in the hands of Honey Badgers. Undarb to Dewey Blink. Dewey Blink going for a shot, saved by Crow. Crow looking to clear, but it bounces off Cloud. It will be recovered by Undarb. Undarb moving it forward on the field to Cincy. Cincy back to Undarb. Undarb looking to connect to Dewey, but it bounces high and doesn't quite connect. It will still be recovered by the Honey Badgers. Dewey Blank now moving up, trying to pass to Cincy, not making it. Undar picking up, getting stunned out by T-Rex Kelly and attempting to clear, but not quite. Honey Badgers will stack and be able to pick it up. Cincy juking on the floor, crossing it into the hands of Undarb. Undarb now looking to make some space, crossing it back over to Cincy. Cincy playing patient, bringing it into the hands of Dewey Blank. Dewey Blank juking around on floor. Will choose to pass it back to Undarb. Undarb into the hands of Cincy. Cincy for a shot. Crow once again saving. Baker will pick it up. Attempt to clear, but it will bounce back. Baker will get it again. Clear it onto the side of Honey Badgers. It's bouncing high. It looks like it will be picked up by Undarb with the Badgers. Dewey Blink now looking to clear it through the side of left tunnel. Honey Badgers will have an open goal here. They shoot. They score. Dewey Blink for the three. Very well placed shot, giving Honey Badgers a 3-0 lead to start. We'll see if they can maintain it, however, as Chain Reaction comes out with their first offensive joust. Pro will pick it up and throw a fast pass to Baker on station. Looking to pass it downfield, but it does get picked up by Cincy, getting stunned out. Undar will pick it up and clear it onto the side of Chain Reaction. Honey Badgers looking to get it. They will. Myth will grab, going for a shot, too, by Myth. Their stacks coming in handy, getting downfield fast. We'll now, we'll now see again what Chain Reaction has to offer on their offensive rollouts. It looked very good the first time. Pro now, having a floppy hand, will attempt to bring it to left tunnel, but it will bounce Cincy now with the disc. Passing it into the hands of Undarb. Undarb moving it upfield. Going for a shot, possibly. Passing it back in the hands of Dewey Blank. Scoring for another two points. Bring this to a 7-0 game. Let's see if Chain Reaction will answer back with some points. On their third quick succession offensive rollout. It will be on the side of Honey Badgers. Dewey Blank alone in goal, but does grab it. Looks to clear it out through right tunnel, but it bounces high. Not sure who will recover. It will be Cincy on the side of Honey Badgers, clearing it through center high. Bring it onto the left side of Chain Reaction. Goal is open. Dewey Blank passing to Darb. For another two points, making this a 9-0 game. Honey Badgers are coming out very strong. Keeping Chain Reaction forced to constantly play a recovery game. They are capitalizing on many mistakes. Pro will duck the Honey Badgers stack. Now coming back, it will be an open goal. Mamu taking a shot for three and making it. 9-3 game with five minutes left. That's what we like to see here. Honey Badgers now on their first offensive rollout of the game. 
We'll see what they can do. It will be Dewey Blink picking it up. It does get picked up by Mamu, though. Bouncing, dinging. T-Rex Kelly recovering it for two points. I won't lie. You can go back in that and see a Chicago, but... That's just part of the game at this point. That is two points no matter what. This is a 9-5 game now. Honey Badger's now looking for another offensive rollout. Looked like possibly something got messed up that was the last time. Dewey Blank passing to Cincy. Cincy forward to Darb. Undarb passing it down into the hands of Myth. Myth going for a shot. Scoring for three points. Super fast offensive rollout. Now making this a 12-5 game with four minutes left. There's still plenty of time for Chain Reaction to make a comeback here. Let's see what they can do on their offensive rollout. Will be Crow. Passing quickly to the right tunnel. Looking to bring it all the way to bubble, but Dewey Blank will be there to recover the disc. Now Juking. Passing it forward in the hands of Cincy. Cincy passing it down into Valley to Myth. Myth. Clearing it through bottom of Chain Reaction. It will be a bounce shot three through Trench to make this a 15-5 game. 34 meters out. Only 19 seconds between there. Chain Reaction. They'll have to respond quick. They're running out of time with ten, a 10-point 10 lead from the Honey Badgers. Crow will slowly walk it up, opting to not go for speed, but rather possibly force out Honey Badger's aggressive stack. Crow now passing down to floor into the hands of Mamu. Mamu passing, not connecting with T-Rex Kelly, but Baker will be there. Baker moving in a circle, passing down, not connecting to any teammates, but it still can be recovered by Chain Reaction. We'll see who can pick it up. It will be Crow slapping it across, still not to any teammate floating freely. It will be T-Rex Kelly, but he does get stunned out by Myth. Myth clearing it through their right side tunnel onto the side of Chain Reaction. Bouncing towards goal. We'll see if it can get recovered by the Honey Badgers. It will be into the hands of Cincy. Cincy opting to reset it back into the hands of Myth. Myth now to Undarb. Undarb juking around on floor, crossing it back to Myth. Myth to Cincy. Cincy. Back to Myth, playing a passing game here, possibly to burn time. Undarb bringing it forward in the hands of Dewey Blink, but he does get stunned out by Baker. And Mamu looks to clear it, but it bounces inside of Tunnel. They still will recover it. Chain Reaction bringing it all the way to the Honey Badger's bubble, but it will get recovered by Dewey Blink in a stack. Clearing it through their right side tunnel, it doesn't bounce right, and it goes right back onto the side of Badgers. Mamu now going for a shot. It will be a save by Undarb. Undarb looking to clear it through left side tunnel. It bounces freely. We'll see which stack can get to it first. Looks like it will be Cincy who gets there first for Honey Badgers. Resetting it back, not connecting to any teammate, however. It will bounce. Myth recovers it, passing it forward towards Undarb, but still not connecting. Since he will pick it up, once again, resetting it back, Myth will be there, bringing it into the hands of Undarb, 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 her shot, another two points, onto the side of Honey Badgers. One minute left in this match. I'm not sure Chain Reaction has enough time with the clock running between these scores to even make a recovery but honey badgers will stack there fast enough it looks like chain reaction ended up missing the disc making this a 20 to 5 game if honey badgers truly rush it and chain reaction misses the disc this could be a mercy in round one chain reaction rolling out it will be crow again picking up the disc just bringing it straight downfield with no pressure from the Honey Badgers. Crow passing it down into the hands of Baker. Baker passing it to Mamu. Mamu into the hands of Kelly. Kelly scoring. Does say self goal, but more than likely that means it got caught, but kind of on the line. So we'll count that for you, Kelly. That will be a shot for you. That will be two points I will credit to your name that will not show. Honey Badgers now on the offensive. Passing it left. Dewey to Cincy. 
Cincy and Undarb are now stacked together, looking to dribble it high. Recovering, going for a shot at the last second, not connecting, however, and that will be round one. Honey Badgers, 20 to 7. We'll see you now who can win this joust. Last time it was Chain Reaction. This time it will once again be Chain Reaction. Mamu coming out fast, slapping it into the bubble, but it will be picked up by Undarb. Undarb and Cincy now stacking through left tunnel. Bouncing high, not connecting to any of them. It will be Undarb going for a shot. That'll be a three, 16 seconds into round two. It's a dangerous thing to deal with fast stacks like that. If you aren't able to get back to goal, it's just going to be open. And if you have someone very accurate on the other team, they'll take their shots. Chain reaction now on the offensive rollout. Crow going for a quick pass to left station. A play that we've seen a lot tonight they do prefer their station relays and it works very well it just happens to be intercepted a lot of the time and that will be another long shot a three by sensing from 26 meters away but those station relays have worked well they do get under the offensive stack of honey badgers it's just unfortunate that that one bounced high. It did not allow them to recover it. Crow now passing it to right tunnel to a stack of chain reaction. Them dribbling it forward, passing into the hands of Baker. Baker back to Mamu. Mamu going for a shot, not connecting. Baker will recover, go for a shot. Stunned out. It will be picked up by Kelly for a shot. A two-pointer right behind the goal. Was a scramble to pick up that disc, but it did get picked up. And recovered by Chain Reaction to make that goal. Making this a 2-6 game, not letting Honey Badgers quite run away with it. We'll see what they can respond with on the offensive rollout. Dewey passing forward to Cincy. Cincy all the way down, not quite connecting with Myth, however. It does bounce high. It will be Mamu recovering it. Now waiting for a stack. Holding and being patient. Very good. Mamu now moving forward, continuing to take patience. Mamu clearing it into the side of Honey Badgers, into their bubble. It will go for a shot. Kelly for another two points. Very well played on the side of Chain Reaction. Using the time, using patience to get it into the side of Honey Badgers, get it in their bubble, and score. Honey Badgers now coming out for the rollout. Passing it right to Undarb and Cincy, looking to stack, but they do get stunned out. It'll be picked up by Mamu again. Mamu clearing it into the side of Badgers. They'll be back inside their bubble. Who will pick it up? It'll be Mamu. Mamu going for a shot, but bouncing off the inside of goal. Looked like it was going to be a three from that angle, but it will be picked up by Undarb, clearing it through left side tunnel. Honey Badgers will have a stack there. Possibly going for a shot, but not connecting. It'll bounce high, picked up by Crow. Bouncing around, will be recovered by Undarb. Looking to make a pass, but it does get intercepted by Crow inside of Bubble. Not quite out of their zone yet. Undarb will pick it up, slap it across, continuing to be in the side of Chain Reaction. Since he will grab it, bounces back high though. Myth picking it up, bouncing off of Crow to shoot. What, in a fadeaway for another two points on the side of the Honey Badgers. See what Chain Reaction can respond with here on their offensive rollout. This is still a very close game. Only four points apart with six minutes left. Chain Reaction still has plenty of opportunity to bring this back and fight the Honey Badgers for this. But it will get passed back, not connecting to a teammate. We'll see if Honey Badgers can recover. It will be Cincy. Cincy going for a two. Making the best of mistakes off the other team. I'm not sure if it bounced off someone's head or just was a failed reset, but Honey Badgers were all over it the moment they saw that disc flying backwards. Chain reaction now, flying back out. Crow will grab and do a quick pass to that left station, as we've seen, and it does connect through into the hands of Mamu. Mamu now looking around on the floor for an opportunity. It will not connect to his teammate, however. It will be picked up by Cincy, cleared out through left tunnel, It'll bounce towards Trench. We'll see who can recover it. It will be Chain Reaction slapping it forward, getting stuck in High Valley. I believe that was Baker. It didn't show. 
slapping it almost into the Honey Badger's bubble. It will be picked up by Dewey Blank, clearing it through right side tunnel, bouncing onto the left floor. We'll see who can pick it up. Since he's missing the disc, it will be Dewey who picks it up anyway. Myth waiting on backboard, but Dewey will still go for a shot, bouncing. Two points. Looks like there's another pause here. Six seconds left until the launch. We will see how Chain Reaction has composed themselves to be able to fight back against the Badgers. Crow going for a pass to left station, as we've seen. Baker now not going for a fast pass down, instead opting to reset back to Crow. Crow passing it forward to Mamu, Mamu to Baker, choosing to do short little passes, resetting to Mamu after they've been stunned. Mamu to Baker, not connecting though. It will be Dewey Blank recovering the disc, and it will bounce into their left side tunnel, but bounces back actually. Undarb looking to throw it forward. Who will recover? It will be Honey Badger's Dewey Blank going for a shot too. Extending their lead from 8 to 10, with 4 minutes left. I think to break through this defense, they need to slight... They need to add some slight variety to their plays. We've seen a lot of this right tunnel to a stack, or the left station relay. Ooh, pickpocketed. It will... Oh, going for a shot, but it will be picked up by Dewey. But onto the side of Chain Reaction, it'll be floating. We'll see who can recover. Back to what I was saying, I think what's happening a lot is the Honey Badgers have learned to wait for these plays. It will be backboard shot from Undar, but does get saved by Crow. Looking to clear it through center, not connecting to any of Honey Badger's players in midfield. It will bounce, could possibly go for a shot, but it does get slapped away out of the bubble. And Dewey Blank will recover it, moving forward, passing it through... Yeah, through Valley, up to the sky. It will be Dewey Blank going for a shot, missing. It will bounce back, slapped out of Chain Reaction's bubble. Honey Badgers will recover Cincy, trying to slap it back. It will be recovered into the hands of Undarb. Undarb now playing patiently, passing to Cincy. Cincy to Dewey. Dewey going for a shot. Another two. And it's a 16-4 game. Now that I have a moment. I believe Chain Reaction just needs to add a little variety to their offensive rollouts. We've primarily seen two plays, and the Honey Badgers are learning to adapt to that. They're waiting for those fast passes so they can rush it the moment it goes out. We'll now see the... And it will go for a stack to the right tunnel, as we've seen previously. It does move up very fast into the hands of Baker. Baker going for a shot. Dinging on the side of goal pleasantly for two points, making this a 16-6 game with two minutes left. Honey Badgers now on the offensive again. We'll see how they react. It will be short into the hands of Cincy. Cincy and Dewey Blank choosing to move forward. Undarb, however, will get stunned, but Myth does recover the disc, clearing it through onto the side of Chain Reaction. It doesn't quite make it Bouncing around high and low. Who will pick it up? It will be Kelly, but trying to slap it out. It does not connect again. Myth punching Baker to get the disc back. Myth now crossing onto the floor into the hands of Cincy. Cincy to Dewey. Dewey to Undarb. Undarb with a slam dunk. I don't believe there is enough time in the match now to make this an even match i don't think you can score four points within a matter of well you can't it just have to be really quick about 15 seconds per goal at this point they all have to be threes Icro clearing it through trench into the hands of mamu mamu going for a pass into the hands of kelly but they do get pickpocketed by dewey blank dewey blank trying to clear not quite going though it will be honey badgers picking it up clearing it into the side of chain reaction who will recover it, though? It will be Chain Reaction, but they do get stunned out. The disc does get picked up by Honey Badgers. Going for a shot is Dewey Blank for another three, making this a 21-6 game. With 30 seconds left, Chain Reaction has no feasible time to make this back. This will be game 
but we'll see if they have the courage, I guess you could say, the motivation rather, to go for another few points, buffer their stats, make this loss as minimal as possible. It will be passed in the hands of Mamu. Mamu going for a shot, but Dewey Blank will save it again. And that will be game. Honey Badgers taking the game 2-0 against Chain Reaction.